Most of the time, the inspiration strikes around 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I will drive around for hours listening to the mountain goats, and I'm looking for places that feel sort of neglected, places that I sort of imagine are the last place that somebody was ever seen. Most of my photographs don't have anyone in them because there is no place my loved ones can be. I have had uh, a significant number of losses in my life. My sister died when I was 17 and she was 25. My brother died when I was 22. And very quickly after that, lost my grandparents. And consequently, watched my father slowly lose his mind and rip our childhood home apart with his bare hands. Basically all I have is my mom and my wife and my dogs, and I love them dearly, but I can't go back to the last place I saw anybody I love that's now gone. I mean, they, they turned the place where my brother died into a parking lot. Um, the guy that bought the house where my sister died flipped it into a condo or something. Uh, and like I said, my dad destroyed my childhood home. Any place I choose to photograph, I can create the narrative. I can be alone with that space and think about those things and hopefully create a meaningful photograph. Some nights it's one photograph and sometimes that's enough. That can be a successful night. There is just something about the comfort of wandering and driving through an empty city at night, knowing that people are, for the most part, home, warm in bed with the ones they love, and safe. Struggling with a lot of anxiety and depression and being able to be in that space where there is sort of a sanctuary of silence and kind of calm uh, respite from myself, from everything, while I photograph the world around me is everything to me. It's funny, like I was photographing this bakery and there was this huge comfort of knowing that like the only people awake at that hour were me and this guy inside the bakery who was getting ready for the morning rush and working alone. It feels good. It feels good to be in that place. Shooting at night inherently has a million problems. Trying to find a film stock that can deal with them all well has been arduous. When you're contending with a million different light sources and you need them all to look natural and balanced. You can't have some muddy shadow or some blown out color shifted light interfere with that. With the help of my Mamiya RZ67 and Cinestill 800T, those problems are gone. I finally found the film stock that helped me unlock everything I'd been looking for and solved like years of disappointment in trying to create a successful image at night. I have no obstacle between what I want to show myself in the world through my photographs. I know that digital isn't right for me. I know that those dozens of other film stocks are good for some things, but for what I want to see and capture, it's this film stock, it's Cinestill 800T. Yeah. I'm John H.D. Wagner. I co-founded Fort Wayne Film Lab and I'm a film photographer.